Hello and welcome to our video tour of the cloud solution from STW, machines.cloud. Whether you need to collect operating data from your machinery for later evaluation, or transfer real-time machine data quickly to the office, machines.cloud offers you this capability with quick and easy integration. In this video tour, we will show you how to start up your IoT solution in just a few steps. To collect and transfer data from your machine, you need a telematics module such as the module from the TC family from STW. These modules record the data from the CAN bus and make it available for further processing. After switching on the module, it can determine its own location via GPS. But the module can do much more. You use the log jobs to determine which data are to be collected and transferred from the CAN bus of the machine. The stored data is transferred to the cloud through one of several data connection possibilities. For example, via the mobile phone network, Wi-Fi, Ethernet or Bluetooth. In this section, we will show you how the steps to prepare your telematics module for the transfer of data into the cloud with the transmission options of a standard SIM card. First, you need to start the telematics module. In addition to the module itself, you'll need the Getting Started manual, where you'll find the pin assignment of the connector. To establish a data connection via the mobile telephone network later, insert a mini SIM card into the SIM card slot in the connector of the telematics module. Press the yellow button next to the card slot and remove the card holder. Insert the SIM card into the card holder and insert the card holder with SIM card back into the card slot. A prefabricated cable set is available for connecting the telematics module. Alternatively, a connector kit is available. The pin assignment, which can be taken from the manual, and the kit allow you to connect the telematics module to the cable harness of your machine by yourself. At least the following connections are required. For the power supply, pin 9 is connected to ground and pin 8 to the positive of the battery. Pin 10 is connected with clamp 15 for the ignition signal. Switch on the ignition. The telematics module is switched on and starts up. After the boot sequence, the LED will turn yellow. If the telematics module is receiving a GPS signal, the LED will light up blue. Please bear in mind that the GPS reception of modules with built-in antennas is typically very limited or not available at all within buildings. If the telematics module can establish an internet connection, the LED will light up pink. If the telematics module can receive a GPS signal and establish an internet connection, the LED will turn green. When data is being transmitted, it flashes green. These operations require some time and a few minutes may pass until the status is reached. The actual time depends on the current environment. The telematics module can then register with machines.cloud. You can of course wire further interfaces of the telematics module, such as CAN bus 1 and 2, Ethernet, USB or the RS-232 interface. The pin assignment can be found in the manual. Once you've put your telematics module into operation and established from the green LED that a connection to the internet exists, and the module has GPS reception, we can move on. In the following sequence, we will show you how to view and process the data in machines.cloud. The cloud connector, which runs in the Linux environment of the telematics module, manages the communication link between hardware and the cloud. This allows, for example, the registration of the hardware on the cloud and the transmission or reception of signals from the TC3G. Once we have your contact information, 
You will receive a system generated email containing a registration link for the first login as an administrator. You will also receive a second email containing your username. Please note that your email system might identify generated mails as spam, so please do check your spam folder. Click on the registration link in the email to register with machines.cloud. Note that this link will expire the next day. If you have not registered within the day, please request another registration link from STW. After clicking the link, you are prompted to enter a password. For a password that is secure, enter a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, as well as numbers and special characters. Re-enter the password for confirmation. You can then log in with your personal access data. You have now logged in to your area of machines.cloud. This area represents your personal client on the cloud platform with a separate database and its own URL. We refer to this as a tenant. A tenant is a part of machines.cloud, which can only be accessed by you. In your tenant, you can manage all your assigned devices that send data to the cloud. In order to manage the devices, you must register each device within your tenant. For the registration, you need the serial number and the type of your telematics module, which you will find on the nameplate. Log in to your tenant in machines.cloud. On the Devices menu, click the Registration button. In the Registration field, type in the prefix, which depends on the type of telematics module, i.e. TC3G- for TC3G, or TC1- for a TC1. Directly after the prefix, enter all digits of the serial number without spaces and points. Then click on Register Device. The telematics module should now be displayed in a list. The status changes from Waiting for Connection to Pending Acceptance. To complete the registration, click on Accept. The status changes to Accepted. The telematics module can now be used. To find it in the device list, click on All Devices. You have now registered your telematics module in your tenant and can see it in the device list. But does it also send data? To check this, we will have a closer look at the information about the telematics module. Click on the name of the telematics module. In the info menu, you can already see that the connection is active and when the last communication between the telematics module and the cloud took place. With the location function, the current location of the telematics module will be displayed on the map, as GPS data are also transmitted to the cloud without any specially defined log jobs. The function tracking shows the movement of the telematics module on the map and the times attached to each position. If you can display this data via your tenant, the telematics module has been successfully set up to work with the cloud in other videos, we'll show you the configuration and operation of the many features available within machines.cloud.